in a world that is so complex and sophisticated, sometimes I feel that it's the simple joys that nourish my soul. The feeling of the sun hitting my bare face, admiring the flowers waking up to spring, drinking in the fresh air that fills me with so much energy. When I'm so consumed with work, responsibilities, and other details of life, I lose sight of what makes being alive so incredibly fascinating and beautiful. So I think it's up to us to purposely take moments out of our day, to zoom out of context of our everyday lives, and practice the simple habits that can nourish our souls and enrich our lives. I notice how much of a habit it has become for me to put on my headphones all throughout my day. Maybe I'll turn on an audiobook, podcast, or a YouTube video. Regardless of what the content is, I've been having this urge to fill the background with any noise. I realized that this was my way of distracting myself from having to endure even the slightest moment of boredom or silence because I've become so used to constantly consuming content. It was a way for me to pass the time instead of cherishing it. In our culture, with endless entertainment and content, I think it's easy to find ways to continuously keep ourselves occupied. It might seem like we're being efficient with our time or like we're multitasking, but I notice that consuming too much only leaves me feeling drained. In contrast to that, being out in nature, listening to the waves, the birds, the surrounding sounds in the moment, it grounds me in a very distinct way. And sometimes I do love to sit and listen to some classical music as well, because I think the sounds of the piano really complements our natural surroundings. Truly, there is no words to describe the feeling of just being in the moment, being lost in the music, and becoming a spectator of life. And I wonder why I ever wanted to distract myself from this and be desensitized to this magic. Something else that instantly charges my soul, which is also related to nature, is connecting with it in a more intimate way. Walking barefoot in the sand, taking a nap on the grass, or even getting my hands dirty while taking care of my plants. Maybe it's the negative ions that are abundant in nature, or because I'm reminded of my childhood playing outside. But either way, I definitely notice that having physical contact with the natural elements always has a way of nourishing my soul. Being in nature reminds us not to be just aware of the moment, but also the space around us. It teaches us to let go of control and just go with the flow of life. And it always encourages us to step outside of our own stories and become one with something much bigger than ourselves. As the weather gets warmer, I hope that you take the initiative to spend more time outside, playing with your kids or running around with your dogs dipping in the ocean or the lake, or simply gardening in your backyard. Deep down, this might be what all of us are craving at the moment. A hobby is something we do for ourselves, not because someone tells us to, or because it's a good use of our time, but the sole purpose is to have fun and to fill our hearts with joy. My hobbies have changed so much throughout the different seasons in my life, but in this hectic time in my life right now, really enjoying painting because I find it extremely calming. It forces me to slow down, focus on the next brushstroke without getting too ahead of myself because when I try to rush, it always shows in the painting. Your hobby might be going for a walk, a bike ride, gardening, knitting, playing an instrument, or even scuba diving. Whatever it might be, 
take some time for yourself by yourself to engage in what you love life can be a cycle of going through the same routine over and over again or it can be an adventure to find the hidden gems in our ordinary lives both are a choice and we get to live the life that we choose in my 20s i was so busy building the life of my dreams but now in my 30s i'm more settled and i'm starting to see that life is mostly made out of those ordinary days but with that realization i also learned that it's up to me to look out for those beautiful moments that might not be so obvious to recognize Beautiful moments aren't always packaged as big milestones, celebrations, or grand gestures, but it might be more subtle, like enjoying a pineapple that you grew with someone that you love. This was truly a beautiful moment, and it was the best pineapple that we both tasted. All I'm trying to say is that beauty is something to seek, not something that is just handed to us. As Roald Dahl once said, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And I couldn't agree with him more. I think the most beautiful people in the world are those who put their heart and soul into everything they do. It can be for their job, a favor for another person, the way they speak or perform or anything or everything they do in their lives. I was always timid and too self-conscious to act like I cared too much about anything, but then I grew out of that mindset, realized how silly it was, and I decided to put 100% of my effort into everything I did. It's a simple mindset change, but I noticed that my relationships deepened. My work felt like it had more meaning and my life itself became more precious. Engaging in something wholeheartedly means to give a piece of ourselves in whatever we do. Sure, it requires us to be more vulnerable, more passionate, more involved in our own lives, but as a result, our lives become a statement in and of itself, and I don't think that there is anything better for the soul. We feed our bodies with nutrients, our minds with knowledge, but I think it's just as important to nourish our souls with love, beauty, passion, above all else. Prioritizing this has truly enriched my life for the better, and I hope that it will do the same for you.